Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a video that I feel like I have not filmed in forever. Today I am going through my K-pop shelves. This is a video that I mean to film every year and then I, like my shelves are usually a disaster so I just end up not doing it. This year is different because recently I was told I have to move. So unfortunately that does mean that I got rid of a lot of my stuff in order to like prepare for that. So my album shelf look a lot different these days and so I thought it was like the perfect time I suppose to film this this is like the last time that my shelves will look this way I'm actually really excited though to move because I'm gonna get all new shelves and they're gonna be like the nice white like billy ones from Ikea and I just feel like the, the white shelves make the fun colors of the albums pop a lot more so I'm actually really excited but um I did want to film this before I move because this is the last time that I will be filming in this apartment actually that's a lie i will have a few more videos out in this apartment but um yes so without further ado i'm gonna get into it because like you can't even see hold on i can if i stand on my <laughs> on my futon and sorry i'm gonna move the tripod this is what we are working with so i have like one big bookshelf and then i have like this one here which isn't all k-pop actually it kind of is, it's just like not albums. And then the shelf on the side, like there is some binders down there, but it's mostly books, so. Oh, and my light sticks are up there. That's the, this is the only time I'll show the light sticks. They're just up there um, because I'm moving. So that's why they're in their boxes. But we will primarily obviously be focusing on this shelf here. So I'm going to set the tripod up properly so that we're not like moving around this whole time and then we will get into it. Okay, I am apologizing in advance just for this shelf. Like it's just a little too high for my tripod. So that's why we're at like, <laughs> like a weird angle like this. As you can see, this top shelf here is my one wee shelf. When I downsized my albums, I did not downsize one wee because they are my old group. So I have not downsized them at all. I'm gonna like start by kind of like taking stuff off out of the front. This is my signed Polaroid right here. So that's why it's flipped around that way. And then this little like Lego set thing here, this was a like special event kind of thing when they were at a festival called Let's Play Hongdae, I think. And it came, it's actually like this box is from that. So that's <laughs> what that's from. It came with the Lego set and then like some cheering banners and stuff like that. And some like photo cards, but they weren't photo card sized. So if you are curious what that is, it is actually official merch it's just like super random <laughs> and then on this side this is just geex um lycon lycon album from his most recent comeback so i'm going to take those items out of the way and then i do have here this is my signed planet nine alter ego album and then this one here sorry i hope you guys can like hear me and i hope this is not like an awkward angle or anything like that but this one here is my fan sign album and then obviously i have just like albums here this one here was from a merch thing i think from one of their concerts like online concerts but the rest of them are just merch things and then the pink box is from their fanship kit the black one back there is from their 2023 seasons greetings and then again just some albums that's 2022 seasons greetings and then like the bags and stuff are just also albums <laughs> the calendar is just because i've been too lazy to put the 2023 calendar back in the 2023 box but that's my one wee shelf i hope it's okay that i'm not going through individual album names i just feel like i don't know i've unboxed most of these albums so you guys probably know if you're interested you probably know what the album names are anyways but that is my one wee shelf i love having a dedicated shelf to one wee because as you guys know they're my alt group so very happy to finally have like enough shelf space to have them be on their own shelf okay the next shelf here is kind of like a random mix of groups it's mostly though like txt a lot of like jewel cases lucy has a really big section go through the albums at the front of course so on the side here i just have ning ning's like drama album uh because i love this album i know it's like an awkward like it's just a 
folded poster but I still really like it and then I have the my world like the magazine looking one because it is my favorite album concept from them so I have that displayed and then really like the same thing with this Stray Kids one I love albums that look magazine ish like this so I do have the headliner version of Stray Kids most recent album Rockstar and then this is Lucy's Fever album so it is like my favorite album packaging of all time so I just have that displayed as well okay I hope this angle is okay <laughs> I can't actually really tell but um okay so I'm not going to take any of the other albums out but I will like point out what they are so on the side here I also like can't see the middle of the screen so I hope that I'm actually pointing to the right things but on this side here I just have both of Kiss of Life's albums and then the album beside that is Adia's album that's the only release that they have so that's all that I have for them and I have some Esfa and La Seraphim albums I did get rid of all of my La Seraphim albums except for this one and I think I have an Unche album over here somewhere and then for TXT I have like the Frick, what was it called the chaos chapter albums so i did get rid of the majority of my txt stuff except i did keep both of the is it fighter escape i think that this one this one's called fighter escape i kept both of those because that is like one of my favorite albums and the packaging is really really cute so i kept both of those and then beside that is stray kids rock star and a couple of stacy albums and then another TXT album. I just kept like the one that I liked the photo book the most. And then Heike's album. And then so I did keep like TXT's dream chapter albums. I kept all of them because very attached to those albums. So that's why I kept all of those. And then in the back there, I just have a Ning Ning album and then like a couple of Nemo albums. The majority of like these digipacks here, like up until here is all Hoppy Pola stuff. And then as mentioned, I have an Unche album, Felix's Rockstar album, and then Mini so blue hour from txt and then over here this is all of lucy's albums so i do have i think do i have all of their albums i think so other than their debut album i'm pretty sure i have all of them and then just my two most recent uh season's greetings <laughs> that i got this year are just off to the side here so that is my like kind of super random shelf but this is probably the shelf where i purged the most of like the groups that are on this shelf i just like do not need 800 <laughs> versions of the same album i'm like really starting to think a lot about that especially now that i'm like in a position where i've had to move so it's just like kind of putting it into perspective for me that i like really do not need all of these albums so okay anyways let's move on to the next shelf okay this next shelf is a lot of like really really big items it is mostly dreamcatcher oh my girl and purple kiss that actually might be the only groups on this shelf now that i'm looking at it it definitely is so dreamcatcher purple kiss and oh my girl in the front here i just have their dun dun dance album this is like one of my favorite album packagings i do have oh my girl's non-stop album i did not get rid of that it's just not displayed here because i have it like on display in my house so that's why you're not seeing it this here like this whole thing this is up till here is all like dreamcatcher season's greetings or like special merch sets and then purple kiss seasons greetings some bigger oh my girl albums another dreamcatcher seasons <laughs> greetings and then on this side here is all of the albums so for dreamcatcher i ended up just keeping the special editions for the albums that i did have special editions for summer holiday i never got the special edition so i just kept the blue one because blue is my favorite color and then for purple kiss they don't have many albums that had multiple editions but i did just keep one edition for the ones that did and for geeky land i got rid of all of the jewel cases so that's why you do not see those and then off to the side like over here is just some more oh my girl albums i did keep both the dun dun dance albums because i liked both of them and i could not pick one to get rid of so i kept both of those and then i don't know if you can like see in the back there that purple thing that is dreamcatchers 2023 seasons greetings i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna take everything out to show it but that is what's back there. But yeah, this is all that's left of my Dreamcatcher, Purple Kiss, and Oh My Girl collections. I feel very relieved actually to not have uh, a ton of 
their albums because it was just a lot so I'm happy that the shelf is what it is. Unfortunately, there's like not really much room to grow, but actually I don't buy Dreamcatcher albums or Oh My Girl albums actually anymore. So hopefully this shelf like won't grow too much uh, with Purple Kiss, but yeah, that is this shelf. Okay, we're down to the penultimate shelf on this bookshelf. This is my Idol and Itzy and what else is <laughs> on here twice and a few BTS albums shelf. This shelf and the shelf underneath it like all have the same groups on them. I just like kind of shoved stuff wherever it would fit basically. So for Idol, I will just move this little I Feel album. But for Idol, I actually did not get rid of anything because Idol is my female alt group, so I could not part with anything to be, to be honest with you. So yes, everything that I have ever unboxed on my channel for Idol, I do still have. I really thought about like maybe getting rid of like some of the I Trust and I Burn stuff, but then they're all just so pretty. I couldn't I couldn't get rid of it. I do also have Sujin's album here. I've been thinking recently I want to get her the the red one of it, but we will see. But yes, I do have all of their albums and side note, I do have two on the way. It's just I am waiting for my music taste to ship my freaking albums before I can ship my K Addy haul, but they are coming. That unboxing is coming. I will probably still, even though it's been a while, I'll still do an unboxing because as I said, they're my female alt group, so I will still do one, but I just don't have them yet. And then in the middle here, this is just like a lot of jewel cases and stuff. I have Mion and Soyon's albums, some Twice albums, and then some BTS albums. Off to the side, I did not get rid of the Crazy in Love albums because although they're bulky like it spells crazy in love on the side and i will be honest with you like i'm kind of a sucker for, for stuff that like spells things on the side so i i did not get rid of them but i probably will eventually i just was not ready to part with them yet and then above that i have some twice albums that i kept okay this bottom shelf here i actually like can't have the tripod so i'm just kind of holding my phone like on the tripod but hopefully that's okay and hopefully you guys can actually still hear me i feel like maybe you can't but we're trying our best here so out in front here see i don't even know if i can there we go so like out in front here i have the yua kit album from her selfish album and then swans 20 so i'm gonna move those okay so this shelf is primarily bts i did keep all of my like random bts stuff so like my membership kits and like memories of 2018 seasons greetings that sort of thing but for their albums i kept one version of each album that honestly is just because like the outsides of all of their albums just look the exact same <laughs> so it just like it was really easy to part like let's say with like the love yourself albums on the side here it was very easy to part with three out of the four because they look the exact same um the only ones i did not part with are the you never walk alone albums because those are my favorite albums so i could not part with them and i love both the concepts like the mint and the pink so couldn't do it i could not part with those but the rest of them i did same with twice i have just like one version of each album so this shelf is a little bit awkward to show so i'm not gonna spend too much more time on this shelf but yes this is bts twice and is there some itsy stuff on yeah there is there's a few like itsy albums on that side there okay we are actually like almost finished which is crazy i feel like i filmed this in like five minutes but um this shelf is pretty much i'm looking as i'm talking i think this is exclusively one us actually so my one us collection i did only keep one version of each album which is crazy because like ugh, i don't know to go from like what i had to what i have now is a little crazy except for uh twilight i did keep both of those this shelf is like really really small but i still wanted one us to have their own shelf because i have so much one us stuff so like all of their bigger photo books and stuff like that are like sideways on here which i don't love unfortunately for now that's just how it is once i get my bigger bookshelves like it will look nicer but for now this shelf looks a hot friggin mess in the middle there i don't know if you can see that's their season's greetings like 2021 2022 i have no idea to be honest with you but it is from their season's greetings it's just got all of my like k-pop stickers in it so that's what that is but yes my one collection is very very downsized it's kind of crazy to think about but also this like trickster album sorry I don't know why I have it that way. A little bit better, 
hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to hold the tripod and just talk about what's on the other shelves. So this shelf here is just like trading supplies, honestly. Like I kept all of my Poke Market little like tin things and they all have like random stuff in it. So that's that. And then same with this one is also like trading supplies. I have all my washi tapes and like cards and stuff like that. And then down here is where I have all of my photo card binders, all of my A5 like Beyond D binders here. And then this one is all of my A5 wide binders. As you can see, fortunately, I do have room to grow on <laughs> both shelves. <laughs> so like the photo card addiction can continue. And then down here, I just again have more trading supplies. It's really messy. I need to get rid of a lot of this stuff. I just haven't yet. And then here is all of my my, like bigger binders so if you watch my storing photo cards videos you know that I only ever show one bigger binder and yet I have six here so you're probably like what is that this one here is my trade and sale binder this one is my one us trade and sale binder whole nother issue not gonna get into it this one here is my bigger inclusions binder and then this one is my bigger inclusions one s binder and then just like some freebies there and then off to the side here is just some like extra albums that i've been using for trades and sales so that's that and then as i mentioned these are just books on the rest of the shelf so that is actually everything okay we're gonna end off here thank you guys so so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon in my next one bye